camera, Tamara, uh, who's working with Morris High School, the Morris High School Garden. Uh, you got uh, Bill Tall from City Farmers Nursery talking now. It's quite a good lineup of people. So thank you for coming to my talk. I 
I wanted to just from the beginning do something that's really a bad thing to do, but I wanted to read a sentence out of this book as a little intro. Because uh, this book is uh, it's called Getting Food from Water, and it's by Jean Logston, and it kind of is a good little sum up of, of kind of where maybe where some of us are. So let me let me just do the really bad thing of reading to you. <laughs> Sorry. We gardeners and homesteaders are inclined, at first, to dismiss aquaculture as a pursuit too impractical for us. <coughs> the word has a sophisticated ring to it, and we automatically connect its practice with the dilettante, or the business entrepreneur, and I'm not sure which one I am, but... <laughs> We are surprised to learn that aquaculture has been a traditional family occupation in various parts of the world, including our own, for hundreds of years. And that's my little intro to that. So, growing food in water, why would we want to do that? I, today I'd like to talk about what the issues are, what the benefits are, why bother doing it, some of the interesting things that I've come across, and how to get started. It's a little different than what's posted in the schedule. I think in the schedule it talks about doing a demonstration, and doing a this, and doing a that. And I'm really just not equipped to do a demonstration here, but I'm going to explain to you where you can get all of that, where it's done really, really well. So this will be more of a, uh, let's understand why we want to do it, kind of a discussion. And so I hope that that will be satisfactory. Uh, First, I want to start with, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Plenty of seats here. Welcome. I want to start off with my philosophy after doing this for a while. I've come up with what I call my one, two, three approach to aquaponics. And I will get more into some details about this as we go along, but I thought right at the top I'll just talk about one, two, three. A lot of people have this, get, get all inspired by this. You know, if you were kind of like I was, you're in an office job and uh, you've got that little engineering bent and you start finding out about this and start thinking about it. You spend all your free time thinking about how to do this thing and you get all fired up about it. And maybe you wind up with a hundred fish in your living room in the aquarium. <laughs> okay. Here's my suggestion for starting out. Number one, step one, start with plants. A lot of you are growing plants already. So, start with plants. That's step one. Step two is get started with the fish. And you can operate the plants and the fish as two separate systems where you're making use of <coughs> the fish water and so on. You optimize your system for the plants with the plants, you optimize your system for the fish with the fish, and you run them both in an optimized way. And you're making use of the fish water and so on with your plants. Okay? So you've got a step one system and a step two system. Now the next step would be to go step three. This would be the integrated, real-time, direct connect, aquaponics, holy grail, let's direct connect it. If you never get to a step three, it's okay with me. There are compromises involved with a step three. If you want to then go, after step one, step two, go to step three, have fun <laughs> and enjoy it. Plenty of people doing that. As a beginner, you start with a step one, and a step and a step two, and you optimize them both, you're going to be in having very, very good success with what you're doing. Okay? If you never actually get to a step three, it's okay with me. Okay? So that's my little starting out theory, my, my proposal to you as a way to get started. Start with the plants, then go with the fish. There's benefits in doing that. We're going to talk about that today. But let's start with an introduction. I am really glad to meet you. Uh, I've been raising and breeding tilapia for seven or eight years now here in San Diego. I'm from San Diego originally. I'm a naturalist with the San Diego Natural History Museum. I have a science degree from UC San Diego and I have a master's degree from Cornell University. I worked for five years at the UC San Diego School of Medicine and helped them to set up their fish facility there. When I was there, I worked for the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. And my office is a couple of doors down from the guy who just won the Nobel Prize, Roger Chan. As part of my experience there, I decided that I wanted to um, become